Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Thriving in 2020 show. My name is Miko Lau, and I'm your host today. Uh, and today on today's episode, we have a really amazing guest. His name is Mitch Ho. I actually met Mitch when I spoke at a mastermind together with him uh, a couple weekends ago in Miami. And I'm really honored to invite Mitch to be on the show because he is a seven-figure entrepreneur and he is an expert in uh, domestic and international tax exam services for e-commerce sellers. And he's also an expert in dropshipping and wholesale FBA. So he's done tons of amazing things. And not only has he created a thriving lifestyle for himself and his loved ones, but he's also helping tons of people across the globe to do exactly the same. So with that being said, Mitch, thank you so much for being on here. I'm super excited to talk to you. Yes, likewise. Thank you. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, so I remember the first time ever I met Mitch, I saw him pulling into the mastermind with this beautiful, beautiful car. And I was just like, oh my goodness, what does he do? <laughs> I wanted to get to know him. And, and this is something that we just touch about, you know, off camera. Like we see people, successful entrepreneurs, people out there living this life of their dreams with fancy cars and traveling. And we want that. But so many times we forgot like there, were, there was a journey and there was a process that came with that result. So why don't you start off this interview by sharing with our audience where did you came from before all these success, before all these like fancy cars and traveling? Um, where were you then mentally, financially, emotionally? Of course, of course. Well, it all, it all started like a young age and um, I was really into snowboarding when I was younger. Uh, I had no thought of, you know, where life would take me. And, and obviously we grow up in life with a different vision of where we're going to end up. Um, so I moved out of, I, I moved out of my house with my parents at a very young age and I ended up moving to Banff, Alberta, um, you know, to pursue school and, and snowboard and hang out with friends and things like that. <laughs> um, and that ended very quickly. I, I got into to high school. I went to high school in Canmore, Alberta, uh, mm -hmm. and snowboarding just got me. Um, I had a lot of friends there. We hung out a lot and I ended up dropping out of school <laughs> just to snowboard. <laughs> Um, so not my, not the, not the best decision I made, <laughs> but it turned into like a journey of finding out what I wanted to do in life. And I always thought that there was something bigger and better for me, um, mm -hmm. getting into, you know, a lot of, a lot of trouble and, and maybe, you know, partying a little bit too much and kind of seeing myself falling into a situation of, you know, do I really want to continue this journey mm -hmm. I ended up coming home when I was 18 and moving in with her mom with my mom and her new husband at the time um you know kind of get my life back on track figure out what i wanted to do and you know i started working in construction um building houses framing houses things like that and i ended up meeting my now wife which her name is camille uh we have four kids together which is a lot of work <laughs> um but you know after we had met i ended up moving in with her and Things were going good, and, and I was still trying to figure out what I wanted to do. Uh, financially, I was broke. I, I was kind of, I mean, she says that I sort of like moved in and <laughs> kind of leached off her a little bit. But, you know, that's the way this thing all worked out. Um, we were together for about a year and a half, and she got pregnant with my daughter. Um, and it was at that point where I kind of realized, like, you know, what am I going to do? How am I going to support a family? I didn't have high school. And I started to create an idea of, you know, getting into the oil field. I ended up getting a trucking license. A couple of years later, I ended up starting a, a pipeline company. Um, I pipelined for about 11, 12 years. Uh, I ran a lot of big jobs. I kind of worked my way up from the bottom up very, very quickly. And things were good. Finances were amazing. Um, but it was still one of those industries where you would only work about eight to 10 months of the year. And if you didn't know the right people, you weren't going to continue working. So, you know, you'd work and you'd make this nice big fat chunk of cash and you thought life was great. And then you'd be off work for three months and it was all gone. So it wasn't necessarily a paycheck to paycheck, but it was more like a season to season kind of job where, you know, we're, we're way up at the end of winter and we're way down. Um, 
it didn't really leave any room for freedom at home. I was on the road all the time, uh, six days a week, you know, eight to 10 hours from home. I, I missed everything. You know, I did not have a chance to watch my daughter grow up or my sons. Um, I lost a lot of years. So my thing was about seven years ago, um, I was online and, and trying to figure out a way out. Like, how do I keep the lifestyle but gain more time? Well, I ended up watching guys like Tommy Rodriguez. And um, him and I are really good friends now. I, I definitely thank him for, you know, it's more or less inspiration. So, you know, the guy that I, that I kind of learned from and, and sort of idled, <laughs> which I'm sure he's going to see this and call me right away and go, what the hell, man? But, you know, he, he, was a, he was a big inspiration for me to watch how he came from basically nothing and created something, right? Um, so I spent years and years reading and learning and understanding everything inside and out. Ron Myers, owner of Web Scraper app, absolutely incredible guy. Uh, him and I still talk, and he is the first one to get right in my head and go, you know what, man, this is what you got to do. And, and the advice that he gives is, it's priceless. I, I couldn't even, you know, show my appreciation enough for these guys because of the guidance that they give me. Um, I really appreciate everything they've done. So what I did was I started drop shipping on a low scale. Uh, it turned out that it was very hard. I lost a lot of money, but I didn't stop. I just kept pushing and pushing and pushing. Um, I ended up running some client accounts shortly after. I started, I, I dropped ship for a couple of years, started running some accounts. I made some good money for some, for some of my clients. But again, we also lost a lot of money. Um, but over time, the process developed and I started understanding more and more what it took to be successful and finding loopholes everywhere that I could. Now, we got into wholesale FBA and it was a totally different beast. And I've been doing it up in Canada now for, for just over three and a half years on the Canadian side. We've definitely cracked into the US market um, and it's turned into something that I never thought it would. Now, with that being said, again, it was a lot of trial and error, and, and there was days when I had no clue what I was going to do. Um, but over the course of, of working on my pipeline career, and also, you know, wholesale FBA and, and drop shipping, I had figured, you know, March 14th of last year, I stopped working. Like, I was done. I wasn't going to do this pipeline thing anymore. Um, and... I developed the tax exemption business. Now the tax exemption business was created because it was something that I needed to do for myself as well as my clients. More or less started out as helping some friends. And I realized that there was a market for it. Um, so I started working quick, quickly on that. And um, we have now done successfully over 1200 um, exemptions. So again, I, I believe DBC tax exemption is the only verified tax exemption service on the market right now in the world. I've yet to hear of any other company that, 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 that specializes in that. Um, I know there's other guys that offer it for sure. There is, there's definitely some other services out there, but you know, we've, we've grown to become very well known in the, in the game uh, for that service. Now, what we have done with DBC limited with all the services that we've offered, I found from March 14th of last year, things changed very, very quickly. There was a point that I got to with investing in marketing and websites, uh, you know, obviously paying wages to my team. I realized that there was a lot more to this um, than just, you know, selling contracts and everything else. My opinion on the matter with looking at how everything has gone in the industry, a lot of these guys seem to be very good marketers, but they don't understand how to run a profitable business. Now, again, this is where some of my friends come into play that have really helped me with the accounting side and, you know, the accountability side where you can work with your client and have everybody meet at a common understanding of what we need to get to a certain point. I take a lot of pride in the results that we deliver for our clients. And when I say that, it's not all success. I, I do have clients that have been very upset. Um, I have been hit with chargebacks. I have had some pretty heated arguments over some of my methods, but the thing that differentiates me, and this is how I feel, and this is just my opinion, is I don't hide behind a contract. Um, I don't have private Facebook groups that, that are monitored. 
Um, I do everything on my personal Facebook and I wear everything on my sleeve. Um, I'm very transparent. I'm very open to everybody because I feel that if you're going to get into business with someone, there needs to be that transparency. Um, so my big thing is to just create something that there is a need for. And the need in this industry right now is honest business. Um, again, it's hard. <laughs> it's very hard. It's very tough some days and it drains you emotionally and physically and it can get very hard on a relationship and things like that. But my wife's been very supportive through the whole thing and we've had our battles just like every other, mm -hmm. every other couple in the world. Don't get me wrong. It's all roses, but um, yeah, have a common interest in, in basically breaking the curse of the family. And when I say that, I love my family, everything's good, but it's, it seems like there's a lot of families that have grown up and it's generation to generation, it seems to be just the norm to get by. Mm -hmm. For me, I would like to see everybody around me and my family flourish financially. And when I say that, I'm not trying to say that that's all I'm focused on, because the reason that I'm doing this is to create more time for my family mm -hmm. and to allow myself to give them things that I never have. Um, you know, that's, that's kind of what drives myself in business and, and as well as my partners and my friends, because, uh, I, I'm very family orientated. Um, no one would ever come in between it. So. Yeah. And thank you so much for sharing that Mitch. you know, like I didn't, I haven't got the chance to really get to know you when I was in the mastermind Miami, but like just by looking from outside, like I can see that you're someone who genuinely like passionately you just want to serve people and help help people out with the things that you know your gifts your talents and like you are someone that you have a thriving relationship with Camille your wife and your kids and like you know how to have fun like we went yeah. to the restaurant together we, we had dinner with the team um you know that's to me like it's not just about the money obviously like you have that financial success but it's all about the time freedom being able to spend that create those memories with people that you love and care about that's yeah. every day yeah. yeah and and i saw that when you sent over your your information to prepare for this interview you mentioned that you were actually on a flight to to Disney, Disney World with your kid when you were typing yeah. that up. <laughs> that is amazing. Like, I love that so much. And, you know, this is something that a lot of people wish for and they want this lifestyle and they just sit here like, you know, feeling miserable, not loving their life. But then, how, yeah. so I want to know, Mitch, like what sets you apart? Like I kind of hear little bits and pieces from the way that you share your journey. Like you are obviously someone who didn't let any challenges or roadblocks stop you. You kept pushing, you kept going. You follow the paths of a mentor who have done it before. But can you tell me, like, what are some of the key things that you feel like you have done that most people wouldn't do that created the success that you have today? Um, you know, honestly, and, and forgive me here, I got my dog and my oldest son who just got home from school. <laughs> uh, <my laughs> it's okay. Early dismissal today. Um, just one sec. Do you mind closing the door, Justice? Is that all right? So the difference between me and everybody else, I think, is there isn't, I don't feel like there's much of a difference. Like, I don't, I don't look at it like I've done anything better except for follow my process and stuff by what I believe in to get done. Um, there's a lot of really amazing programs out there. I mean, you got guys like Rico and he is the most straight up honest dude that I've ever met. One of them anyway, you know, there, there's a lot of guys that are in this industry that are very, very trustworthy. And again, like, you know, Tommy Rodriguez, I mean, he is one of those guys that can really explain the difference between, you know, success and failure. Um, when you have a large influx of clientele, it can be very hard to manage everybody and to make everybody happy. Tommy's been doing his best and he's been doing very good. Um, he's delivering results as best as he can. Now, you know, myself and Rico and Tommy, like we all share the same thing is we want to see everybody succeed, right? We're not here to call anybody down or to say we're better than anybody else. And again, coming back to like what makes my program or, or what, what have I done differently is I just didn't stop. No matter what happened, no matter how many losses I took, like, I mean, <laughs> my wife's going to hear this. I've taken thousands and thousands, like hundreds of thousands of dollars in losses. For sure I have. Um, 
it's been very hard. I've, I've had maxed out credit cards that have been to the point of like, what am I going to do? <laughs> um, but with all of that, I came back on top and without those risks that I took, I don't think I'd be able to have a program that I have right now. Um, I was the guinea pig in my own success. Right. And I had no choice. I had no choice. Basically it was either continue with the career that I had and watch my marriage fall apart. Fall apart. Mm -hmm. push very hard to make this thing happen. I don't have another choice. In my opinion, mm -hmm. there is no other way. So this has to work. And I don't let things fail. I don't get no for an answer. Um, and I work yeah. with equally. I try my best to reach out to everyone. Um, you know, I, I would hate to see myself so flooded to the point where somebody can't get a hold of me. And again, I do, I do have a marketing team um, that, that helps me answer questions for clients. But when everything circles around, everybody ends up back with me. And, and I do make the time to talk to everybody one-on-one. -on -one. I do make the time to learn about my clients and, and hear about them and what their goals are. Because without that relationship, I don't think I could offer them a proper service, right? Um, so, I mean, yeah, like the difference between me and everybody else is, is I just I make the time to give everybody the time they deserve. I love that so much, Mitch. I think that's why I just love your energy. I love connecting with you because like you are obviously someone who's already way up there, like, like with your success, with everything, but then you still treat everybody just like a human being. Like you're not like you're up there on a pedestal. And that's why I, I just love connecting with you. You know, you take the time to answer my message. Like even though I'm this complete stranger that you just met um, in Miami, like that something, things like that, that really makes a huge difference difference and when we are an entrepreneur when we are building businesses at the end of the day we're all about just serving people uh, it's all about the relationships that we build so I think that's a key component to why you're so successful today and you're only 31 I cannot even imagine like where you're going to go from here um, so I can tell you that mm -hmm. I feel a lot older <laughs> <laughs> Not even. <laughs> I, but, refuse, I, refuse, I have a lot of people, and I'm sure they're all going to see, why is he wearing a hat? Look, I'm sorry, but world, I'm not going to change who I am, and I'm never going to lose my hat. <laughs> That's just how I've grown up. That's who I am, um, I, and I really could care less. <laughs> this is how I'm always going to be. Uh, I'm like, no, I, it's if, good. It's great. Like, like, and lose yourself. And the, that's how I remember you. you. You're the guy with the hat. <laughs> so, so Mitch, um, so I want you to go into a little bit about share with us. I know you, you do automation with dropshipping and the wholesale FBA. So I personally don't know anything about that. So would you mind telling our audience just like a snippet of like a summary of how that works? Um, yeah. Okay. Well, Again, yeah, so I started with the dropshipping side now. I, I did close the door on my dropship management. Um, currently dropshipping, the, the risks associated in the way that Amazon has changed, it has just not been something that I'm willing to really put my name on anymore. Now, I do have clients that are still actively dropshipping under my teams. I do still manage some accounts. And, you know, it's not something that I'm just going to say, hey, guys, I'm done. You know, I'm, I'm done and, and thanks for your money and I'm out of here. I'll make sure that whoever is with me, we're going to manage their accounts and get them profitable. And then, you know, hopefully they'll adopt and move over to our wholesale side. Now, when it comes down to wholesale FBA, why is it so much better? And, and what's the difference? And why does it cost so much money? Um, you know, what we've done is we've opened a distribution company. And within this distribution company, we have a contracted warehouse. Okay. We actually acquire the brands. We, we source U.S. Um, and Canadian main brands. Um, we have a ton of exclusive contracts. Things have been working out very, very well. We've been, we've been very lucky to basically begin this process in such a time that the market hasn't been flooded yet. I feel like we're one of the first groups that's really doing this properly. Um, you know, now, now what we do with, with this is when the clients come in, we don't actually build a brands directly from the clients. Um, we actually have all of the inventory already sourced and sitting within our warehouse and we give the clients the ability to use our purchasing power, which is, I mean, we're getting up to millions of dollars in purchasing power at this point for cash flow. Um, that allows us to really 
move forward and, and share this ROI with the clients. We're able to spread this ROI out and with having the brands that are acquired through our distribution company, we can then authorize certain sellers to, to sell these brands. Um, now, without getting into too much <laughs> detail, we don't want to give away our secrets. There's a lot to it. There's a lot more to what we do to ensure that this is successful. Um, wholesale FBA, I mean, we're targeting average ROIs of 20 to 40% and more. I mean, we do have more. We have clients that are doing 30, 40, $50,000 a month in net profit within 14 months. Um, I don't know anybody that's doing that. I don't know anybody that can prove that process out. I would be very interested in speaking to them. <laughs> and I know, I know that there, I know there is individual sellers that are, I mean, you've got guys like David Arnett and these, these huge e-commerce guys, um, that are, that are really doing like amazing things, you know, but, but as for a public, uh, based platform that is taking on clients, I feel like we're doing something a lot different on our end and it's very well connected between us and our well, Wait, Mitch, to clarify, you said it's 30 to 40K in passive income monthly? Yes. Oh my goodness. That's, that's crazy. <laughs> now, yeah, understand, please, everybody goes, oh yes, I want to do this. You, everybody needs to understand that with that type of net profit comes a very hefty investment, right? Now we're talking, you know, we're not talking $20,000 a month invested. We're talking a hundred to $200,000 a month invested, but it is possible. We do it. We do it daily. We do it all the time. Um, I share screenshots of some of my accounts. I'm, I'm managing accounts that are doing upwards of five hundred to six hundred thousand dollars a month in sales. Okay, so it is possible. It can be done, um, but it takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of work, and it takes a lot of understanding that um, you know we're paying. We're playing with people's livelihoods here. Half a million dollars invested monthly. It's a lot of weight for us to carry. I mean, myself, I, I, I do have a client right now. And as I said, I wear, I wear the issues on our sleeve. So, you know, her account is, is upwards of, uh, she's just over 200,000 a month in sales at this point in time. You know, she does have an issue this morning before we got on the call. Myself and my partner and, and, and her, we're, we're creating an appeal and we're moving forward to get in touch with Amazon and make sure that, you know, we're not running into an issue with this. And that's what we do is we are there like if something happens it's not a support email that you're calling you have my number as a client you will phone me i tell people if i don't answer the first time call me 10 times if it's an emergency we're going to deal with it and get it done um so again like you know these businesses oh yeah right? you have to be committed to your clients if you're going to be committed to results So, so Mitch, this is wonderful. Like, thank you so much for giving us a little bit summary of that. Um, so for our listeners listening right now, and they are thinking like, oh my goodness, I want to do this. Like, I want to do what Mitch is doing. Like, what are some advice that you can give them in terms of like the action steps that anyone can take starting today? If they're completely new, they want to dive into entrepreneurship. Like, what, what does someone completely new needs to do today to move the the, the needle a little bit <laughs> okay all right if, if, if you're coming in from the outside and you're saying you know what I want to sell on Amazon my suggestion to anybody at this point in time would be create an LLC and open up a seller account and pay that $39 a month and let that thing age until you find the proper service for you whether it's me or Rico or anybody else that's uh, Tommy anybody else that's doing this you know set yourself up by by getting yourself started with a business and an account. Um, and you know, everybody else that, that thinks, you know, I want to create something that's my own read, do a lot of reading, put down the TV, like find problems and create solutions and create networks that feed off of one another and don't invite negative into your life. Like it's a big thing, no matter how much financial burden that you're under, like everything can change in a heartbeat. Last March 14th, I was not making five million a month in revenue. Okay, I've done this in under a year, and it's because that I, what I did was I planned for so long. It took it took four or five years of planning to get to this point, right? And if you come into a business that you know that you want to run and something that you're passionate about, 
don't jump the gun and tell everybody about it. Work behind the scenes and just create something that no one else has created. I was very quiet for a lot of years. A lot of people that, that knew me didn't even understand what I was doing and they still don't. <laughs> they still don't get it. I think my wife doesn't even know what I do. But it's like push for what you want and work your life around it. Do you want to work 12 hours a day or do you want to work four hours a day? You know, do you want to travel to Miami to go meet people and drive fancy cars and get paid to do it? Do it. Like you can make a job out of anything, but you need to find a way to push your dreams in the avenue that's going to carry you to your destination you want to be in. And um, for me, the big thing was drop toxic. Don't, there's no point in partying. Like, I mean, what are you celebrating, right? Like why, why go out every weekend? Why spend all that? Why don't you build something and get closer with your family and create something that like will move you forward, not just financially, but emotionally with everybody. So the big thing is just find a dream and follow it. <laughs> that's what, that's what I would recommend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's great. That's amazing because like a lot of the times, a lot of people don't even know what it is that we want. Without that target, without that destination, people are just like aimlessly uh, living life every single day. So that's good. So Mitch, let's wrap this up. Let's wrap this conversation up with, give us some inspiration, some exciting, like the biggest wow. blessings that come to... <laughs> Yeah, so share with us, like, what are some of the biggest, like, blessings and rewards that have came into your life as a result of following, following through with your dreams, your goals, and, and your vision? There's, there's a lot. Like, I no longer have to ask permission to do anything. Um, we can plan trips. We can go wherever we want. We can do what we want to do, and, and we're doing this all based on honest business. Um, I don't have to go to sleep every night feeling sick about, you know, something I did wrong or maybe somebody I did wrong by. Um, it's, I wake up every day now earlier than I ever did when I had a career uh, working for somebody else, and I think it's because I'm excited about it. Um, you know, my wife and I go to the gym every day together. We go to yoga um, I can touch my toes without losing my breath now. <laughs> you know, it's just, it's everything that I've been doing seems to be fueling a better lifestyle and a better relationship all around with everybody. Um, I'm just happy that I made the decision to do what I did. And, uh, it's not just about the money. Um, it's just about a happy life. And, and I'm just blessed to be able to have that. Mm, yeah, and I want to take this moment to acknowledge you, Mitch, for your generosity and your unconditional like giving back to people and support people like me who are still like at the beginning stages of my entrepreneurship journey. And by sharing your wisdom with us, like inspiring our audience, um, this means everything to me and everyone listening. So thank you. Well, um, so yeah, I do. It's it's awesome. Definitely, I love welcoming everybody on the come up and just. It's great to see everybody growing so much. Yeah, amazing. So for our listeners listening right now, I bet that they would love to get connected with you. Uh, maybe send you a message or something. So where can they find you online? Of course. So I do have a new website being created, which I'm hoping it'll be done in the next couple of weeks. Um, anybody that would be interested in reaching out over Instagram, they can reach me at, at DBC Automation underscore Outfitters. Um, you can look me up on Facebook, <laughs> uh, Mitch Holt. It's, uh, it's very straightforward. And if you did want to reach out to the sales team or, you know, have a look at what we can maybe offer you guys, please reach out to sales at DBC limited, L I M T <laughs> spell out limited, sorry, <laughs> dot com. Um, and that's, uh, that's pretty straightforward. We have a lot of, um, a lot of good guys that are standing by to contact everybody. And again, if you're looking to reach out with me directly, please, uh, please reach out on Facebook and, and my guys will put you in touch with me. Awesome. And I know Mitch has prepared something really special for our listeners tuning in today. So Mitch, would you like to share with us what that is? Yeah, so I do have a link. Um, we do have a mini course that we're offering for free for people to understand kind of what exactly we do for everyone. Um, I think we're going to be able to share that. And um, it, it is on my Instagram. It is on, it is on Facebook. Um, 
so yeah, if, if anybody wants to just reach out directly through that link and check out some free information on what we have, it's up there for everybody. Great. Awesome. Yeah. And I'll have all of Mitch's social media website and everything and the link to the free gift in the same email that this interview has gone out to. So go back to that and also reply back to that email. We would love to hear from you. I want to know what your biggest takeaway was or what steps you're going to take next. And Mitch would love to hear from you guys as well. So make sure to reply back and then I'll go ahead and share that with Mitch. Um, and make sure to get your hands on the free gift. Get connected with Mitch and take your life to the next level. You can do it. If Mitch has done it, so can you. So thank you again, Mitch, for being on thank here. You. I hope you had fun. And thank you, everyone, for tuning in. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.